Hi guys! In this video we're going to be looking at the diffraction grating, grating spacing, and we're going to finish with a summary. So we're going to begin by looking at what the diffraction grating actually is. The diffraction grating is a plate with thousands of parallel slits. So for example, here we have a plate that's a diffraction grating and it's made up of lots of tiny slits, but we can't actually see them with the naked eye because they're so small. So if we look at it in more detail, we can see the tiny slits that we have in the plate. Imagine a beam of monochromatic light is directed normally to the diffraction grating. So this is our diffraction grating, which is made up of lots of very, very tiny slits and we can see that the light is directed at it perpendicularly, so it's at a right angle. And then we can see what pattern this produces on a screen. The light diffracts at each slit on the diffraction grating, and they interfere where the diffracted beams overlap. So we've seen that when light goes through a very narrow gap, it diffracts. So that's what we can see is happening here when the light passes through all the slits in the diffraction grating. So, if we look at it more closely, and we look at the wave fronts more closely, we can see we get diffraction at every single slit. When the light waves diffract, they spread out, which means they overlap and are able to interfere with each other at these points here. So we get interference. So this is similar to what we saw with the double slit, except now we've got lots and lots of tiny slits in our diffraction grating. The diffracted light from all the slits interfere constructively in certain directions and destructively in all other directions. So here's our light and our diffraction grating from a different angle. So this here is the diffraction grating. And then we can see all these red lines show our constructive interference. And everywhere where we don't have constructive interference, we have destructive interference. So in all these gaps here, we've got destructive interference. The beams of light are labelled as nth order beams from the central axis. So the central axis is called the zero order beam. And then as we go away from the central axis, we have the first order beams, then the second order beams, and so on. If we project monochromatic light through a diffraction grating onto a screen, we find an interference pattern of bright and dark fringes. So here we have our monochromatic light of a single frequency and we're directing this light through a diffraction grating. And just like we did for double slit diffraction, we can place a screen here in order to observe the pattern. And if we look at the interference pattern here, we can see that we've got bright fringes with dark fringes in between. So for example, this is a bright fringe and we can see that we've got dark fringes in between all of the bright fringes. So now that we know what the diffraction grating is, we're going to look at grating spacing, which is the distance between the slits. The slits on the gratings are parallel and equally spaced. The distance between slits is known as the grating spacing. So we can see that all the slits in the grating are parallel. So we've got that here, we've got parallel slits. And we've just said that the distance between each slit is called the grating spacing. So we're going to call this D. D is the grating spacing. The grating spacing is often quoted as the number of lines per unit length. We can use this to calculate the distance between slits. So the distance between the slits, which is D, is equal to the length along the grating which we're going to call L, divided by the number of lines in total, or the number of slits in total. So this is the equation used to find the distance between the slits. So D is the distance, then L is the length along the grating, and N is the number of lines in the grating. So L is the total length here, the total length of the grating. We've said D is the grating spacing or the distance between the slits like this and then we want to know also the number of lines or the number of slits. So now let's have a look at an example. 
a diffraction grating with 600 lines per millimetre is used as a spectrometer to analyse the spectra of light produced from a filament bulb. What is the grating spacing? So we've been told the number of lines we have. We have 600 lines per millimetre. So we're going to consider one millimetre length of this grating because we know there are 600 lines in this millimetre. So our first step is to write down the relevance equation. So we've said that the grating spacing D is given by the length of the grating L divided by the number of slits or number of lines in the grating, which is N. Our second step is to then substitute the values from the question to find the grating spacing. So we've been told in the question that in a millimetre section of the grating we have 600 lines or 600 slits. So we can therefore say that D is equal to 1 millimetre, so 1 times 10 to the minus 3, divided by 600. So the reason we're saying this is in 1 millimetre we've got 600 slits, so we're going to do 1 divided by 600 to work out the distance between each individual slit and therefore the grating spacing. So D is therefore going to be equal to 1.666 recurring times 10 to the minus 3 metres, which to three significant figures is 1.67 times 10 to the minus 3 metres. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're looking for an amazing A-level physics resource, join me today in my series of engaging bite-sized video tutorials. Just click the snap revised smiley face and together let's make A-level physics a walk in the park.